people made sure a local Holocaust survivor had a day to remember 75 years after his liberation. And as our Brooke Katz reports tonight, the community simply would not allow COVID-19 to stop this celebration. I felt the tears, but they were laid over with laughter and jokes. Max Glauben cherishes the outpouring of love and support from his neighbors, friends, and students from Yavna Academy of Dallas. The Holocaust survivor lived through the Warsaw Ghetto and five German concentration camps. I'm full of love. That's all that exists around here. We all possess it, but we don't know how to distribute it properly. <laughs> However, on this 75th anniversary of his liberation, you could see the love. It filled the streets around his home, a different kind of celebration held in the shadow of a different kind of crisis. But Glauben knows about hard times and overcoming them. Whenever you have a bad time, think of a nice joke. And in that spirit, plenty of smiles and laughs, but also one Jewish prayer from his heart. Baruch Ata Hashem Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'am, Shechechayanu, Vekiyimanu, Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazer, for allowing us to live long enough to bring us to this time. And once things start to reopen again, you can see Glauben's story for yourself at the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum. He's one of the survivors that's featured in their Dimensions and Testimony Theater. Doug? There is no better way to learn history from, than from those who are there. Brooke, thank you so much.